Shane Milton has been pretty much a big talker for the past couple of days and also shattering some records yesterday. That rapid intensification we saw with Milton broke some records. Yesterday evening, it had a barometric pressure of 897 millibars. To put that in perspective, that is the fifth strongest hurricane on record. It has weakened a bit as it's entering some wind shear. Also, the overnight uh, has cooled that system down just a little bit. So it did weaken to a Category 4 hurricane, but still a monster of a storm with sustained winds at 150 miles per hour. And so look at our in-house model, the graph model, which pretty much nailed Helene Hurricane Barrel and Debbie. This system just showing you what to expect, or what a good idea of what some of the models are kind of anticipating. This system continues to maintain strength. But you can see how wide that wind field gets. You know, yesterday that hurricane force wind field was about 30 miles. This is up to 150 miles. Just showing you the expansion of that wind field. You can see just the center of circulation near or just south of Tampa. And this will bring you know, life-threatening storm surge across the western parts of Florida. Helene brought about eight-foot storm surge along the Tampa Bay area, but with this system, we're expecting 10 to 15-foot storm surge all across the western parts of Florida. This will be life-threatening storm surge. Luckily, though, this system will stay more of a west to east track, not moving north. So if you've seen Facebook or TikTok, you know, some people have been showing the system impacting the Carolinas. It will not. It's going to continue to stay out in the Atlantic, and that is thanks to the cold front. I'll keep it down towards the south. Now, we will see some impacts with this system, but very low and minimal. The only thing we're going to be talking about is cloudy skies, a stray shower chance, but with the latest models, that's looking a little bit less likely. Mainly just some wind gusts between 20, 30 miles per hour and those dangerous rip currents, which remain high for today. And it'll continue to stay high throughout the rest of the week. But you can start to see those wave heights going up to five to seven feet for Thursday and into Friday.